exhaust sounds pretty decent. Got inverted forks here, but the seating's different. The seat's lower, handlebars are up higher. like it does have self-canceling turn signals which is the plus So I'm on a 2021, uh, forget the name of this model here, I'll try to put it on the screen possibly, but uh, yeah, I'll try to get it going here, it's keyless, alright this is going to be a little different, oh yeah, okay. So right off the rip, I'm sitting lower on this gas gauge on this bike. Look at Corey, he's on a big full dresser bike up there. I'm anxious to see how he feels about that one. Pegs are definitely moving on me. Exhaust sounds pretty good. The only thing I don't like about these Harley so far is the turn signals. The turn signals on these bikes. Now you see, got your left turn signal here, got your right turn signal here. It took me uh, one demo ride to figure that out. Um, exhaust sounds pretty decent. Um, from what the guy told me, got inverted forks here. Um, smaller tire, skinnier tire. So uh, he said it's a little bit more nimble. This one has a RPM gauge. Got a tack. You're only getting about five and a half thousand RPM. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's a cruiser. But the seating's different, the seat's lower, handlebars are up higher. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm feeling this one already. I gotta see how it turns, so that's the main thing. Straight line and uh, cruising, this thing feels really good so far. I had a guy coming up, talk to me, and he told me to ride this, ride that, try this, try that, so I forgot the name of this motorcycle right here. Yeah. 
so far way better this is like a sport bike for real i mean it's it's leaning over a whole lot more than the past two bikes i've been on this is way better yep rear brake is very 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 squishy oh yeah very squishy front brake works a lot better than the rear brake does which is kind of interesting um, i rode a cruiser before and on that cruiser that i was on it seemed like the rear brake was like it's pretty much the stopping power but i don't know maybe it's just me yeah this is way better way 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 better oh yeah like the rear brake is pretty much non-existent at this point This thing sounds damn good, man. Oh yeah, man, yep. This is more my speed right here. Not saying that I'm gonna get a Harley, but man, the torque, the sound, uh, it's right up my alley. Now the real test is gonna be on these curvy roads back here. The real test is gonna be how the front end handles because uh, the previous two bikes I rode the front end is horrible completely horrible
especially if we're being stuck. Clunk. That's all you hear from Harley's is clunk. You can hear the gearbox working. You can hear the gears uh, winding, whining, whatever. So it seems like it does have self-canceling turn signals, which is the plus. I didn't know that. See, now this area up here is where I was a little unsure, especially on that fat boy. I was like riding on a uh, SUV tire, like a drag tire on the back. And uh, going through turns like this, it was like, once you get to a certain point on the tire, just there was nothing, there was no more room left to lean on. I do feel like the pegs on these motorcycles are a little bit far down. So it feels like I'm gonna scrape the ground whenever I try to lean it over, which I'm not leaning much at all, but I can only imagine. I can only imagine leaning over too far and uh, peg meets road, basically. That's all you really can say. Rear brake, like I said, non-existent. Non-existent. Self-canceling turn signals, yep. one that I've ridden so far today the 2021 Harley Davidson lowrider this bike is absolutely uh, comparable to a sport bike it has the torque 100% it has the uh, the pegs seating positions a little different but the pegs are pretty much in the same spot almost I'm gonna give it a score out of 10. Right now, man, this is definitely taking the crown for today. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get on anything else. I'm gonna definitely give this bike, and this is in uh, Harley Davidson world. I'm gonna give this a, um, uh, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna be pretty bold and give it a nine out of 10. Um, you know the handling of it's different the body positions way different that's what's given that's what's making me come up with my decision nine out of ten guys for this one here but as far as like looks a1 as far as sound a1 as far as power and torque and things like that absolutely on point with all that but guys if you're new to my channel uh hit the subscribe button make sure you guys turn on that post notification bell Make sure you guys uh, tap in with my Instagram at Randy's Reality. I'll link that on the screen and in the description. And uh, stay tuned for more content. But tap in with me. Stay tuned. Be safe. See you guys in the next one.